Hi there. I'm here with 52 Weeks of Angel Connection. Uh, this week doing something a little bit differently, pre-recording this episode rather than going live. But I'll be back hopefully going live next week. So this week we're going to be talking with, about, and to El Moria. El Moria is an Ascended Master and according to Doreen Virtue's big book of Archangels and Ascended Masters, he was an actual living human who was part of Madame Blavatsky's Theosophical Society in the 1880s. However, his father was the ruler of Kashmir back in the 1840s. And then on his death, then uh, El Moria, who that is not actually his real name, he had ascended to be the Maharaja of that region um, after his father's passing. So El Moria is more of an honorific title having to do with the group of people that he was with, um, his tribe more or less. And El Moria is an ascended master now who, uh, as with all the ascended masters, they can help all of humanity. They're not angels. Um, they're, some of them are deities, of course, like Apollo, like Odin, like Thor, like Bridget, uh, like Pele and Oshun but many of them are also human or had been human like El Moria and Yogananda, Jesus, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, um, Buddha, and uh, Maitreya. So those are some living, breathing human ascended masters. So now that El Moria is on the other side as a newer ascended master, he helps us with many things. He helps us staying grounded helps us with faith and crises of faith, helps us with protection. That would be psychic, emotional, energetic protection, even, yeah, physical protection as well. He's been coming up a lot lately for clients. Just today, I had a client who was troubled by nightmares and El Moria stepped forward and said, you can call on me, I can help you with that and just help bring him some protection. And during the day, this client is also very energetically sensitive and, um, does pick up other people's energy and negative energy that is being tossed his way. And so El Moria can help with that. El Moria can even install a psychic shield. And the psychic shield is in two parts. One is at the nape of the neck, the other is at the small of the back. Once installed, they're permanent. But you can have, it, have them removed if you want. But who would want to have that protection taken away? All we have to do to have this extra layer of protection is just ask. El Moria, please install some psychic shields. I could really use your help. Thank you so much. It's as simple as that. And again, once they are installed, they can be removed, but all you have to do to activate them is remember that they're there. Quite simply. Just remember that you are safe and protected and that you've had this extra layer of protection and just trust that it's there. All right, so I hope that's helped to shed light on this Ascended Master, this newer Ascended Master. And if you have any questions about Archangels, Ascended Masters, your loved ones, your life purpose, your path, um, questions about your purpose in life, your, um, your place in the world, just reach out to me. I'm very easy to find. You can make an appointment as well at radiatewellnesscommunity.com and click on the appointment tab. Be sure while you're here to click the notifications and the subscription button so that you'll be, um, you'll be notified whenever there is a new video out on our channel with the Radiate Wellness Podcast with Planet Watch, the series that we do with uh, Mary Jane Stodenman, our resident astrologer, and anything that I do as well in terms of 52 Weeks of Angel Connection or any of our practitioners, And as a matter of fact. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you here next week. Bye, and be well.